Joining us in the studio is Professor Heike Rauer from the German Aerospace Center, a planetary researcher. Now we've heard there are 500 million habitable planets in our cosmic neighborhood. So how long will it take till we discover life out there? Well, it will still take a bit because we don't really know if they are habitable. We really think there's every second planet, every second star has a planet out there, but we don't yet know if they have life. But, but are you sure we will discover it someday? I mean, is there anything like aliens or maybe just green slime? What do you expect? Well, the critical question, of course. I personally believe that life did not only form on Earth. And if there's life out there and it's a bit similar to Earth, then uh, we have a good chance to find it. And could you imagine anything else in a completely different form from the type of life we have? Well, life has to follow the biological and chemical principles, so it will probably be more or less like we find it on Earth. And if it's very, very different, to be honest, we wouldn't find it because we wouldn't know how to identify mm -hmm. it. What are actually the signals you are looking for to detect life? Well, if you want to detect modern life on Earth, you would look for oxygen. If you would want to detect life on the early Earth where life formed, you would look for probably for methane. So you're looking for, for key, um, key molecules which are very abundant in the atmosphere and that we can find in spectra of, uh, of planets. Mm -hmm. Now it's probably really interesting to find more and more exoplanets, but what are the real insights you can get for research, maybe also about our own solar system? Well, what we learned is that the other solar systems that we discovered so far are very, very different from the solar system. We have something like a big gas planet like Jupiter, but with an orbit of only a day around the sun, so very hot, several thousand degrees hot. We have found planets more massive than Earth, mm -hmm. 10 times the mass of Earth. What we have not found is a planetary system identical to the solar system. And this is not because it's not out there, it's simply because technically the past missions and even the Kepler mission could not find it. So Earth is not exceptional? Earth is probably not exceptional, but uh, we still have the challenge to find the so-called second Earth, so really a planet that's similar to Earth. That's mm. why we are planning new missions to follow mm. Kepler now. Mm -hmm. Is there actually a chance to get maybe Kepler back into operation? No, they will, um, they will use Kepler uh, for other purposes, but for planetary search, oh, okay. no, unfortunately not. And uh, we in uh, Europe are now planning a new mission to follow Kepler and, and complete the task. Tell us more about it. How will you proceed? Well, what we want to do is build a, uh, follow the technique that Kepler is using, but mm. have a much wider field of view, scan uh, one million stars, and find hundreds of small Earth-like planets. And these planets will be um, around stars which are so bright that then for these stars we can look for these spectroscopic signals and see if they have an atmosphere and if they have life. So we but can hope. Can yeah, we hope? We can hope. What's the time it's, schedule? Well, to find these planets, if we get these uh, missions, uh, we will find these planets in the next decade, but to find life of them, will take a few more decades, I'm afraid. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the talk. Heike Rauer.